Welcome back to Techno, everybody. Let's get into the tech news. People are saying that their Apple Watch can now predict when they are getting sick. But you're probably asking, how's that? Because how can my watch predict when I'm getting sick? Well, we're just weeks after the launch of the Apple Watch Series 10 and Watch OS 11. And with this came some new, more specific metrics for letting you know your vitals. Now you can learn about your heart rate, your respiratory rate, sleep duration, wrist temperature, and much more. While some of these uh, features were already on the older models of the watch as well as the older OS, people are now noticing that their Apple Watch is noticing changes in their wrist temperature averages as they are approaching getting sick. As you can see right here, it notifies and shows them that the average is much higher than usual. This is insane. Never did I think my watch could tell me when I'm getting sick, but I mean, I guess there is kind of a catch. This doesn't work for everybody. This is due to a difference in pain tolerance from person to person, and many people may not actually notice that they are getting sick for a couple of days beforehand due to this. If you can use this feature though, it's super cool and definitely helpful. But remember, this program is not intended for medical use. See, Apple told me to let you know that. Next up, we have Comcast, who apparently had a data breach that leaked tons of people's social security numbers in 2021. And that's not all. It also leaked names, addresses, birthdays, and phone numbers of more than, get this, 237,000 of their customers. Now, this wasn't exactly Comcast's fault though. A previous company they worked with prior to 2021, known as FBCS, was the one who actually had the data breach. This affected a select few Truist bank customers as well due to it being a third-party service breach, but Truist didn't have as near as big of a problem as Comcast did. Well, it's not the first data breach from Comcast, it's definitely the worst if you have 200,000 plus social security numbers now floating around the internet. Protect your identity, folks. Lastly, but certainly not least, your TV is spying on you. You heard that right. Your TV is spying on you. Basically, manufacturers and streaming services have been figuring out how to sneak in targeting advertising amidst their terms of use and all these big rules coming in from governments on this type of thing. And I guess it worked. These companies factor in race, religion, location, weight, age, and political view to try and target the ads they send to you. Sometimes even using AI to collect personal data. Now they're finally getting in trouble for this one as it uh, recently, the CDD sent a full-on report about this incident to the FTC who will more than likely take it to court, especially with AI involved. In fact, they are comparing buying a CTV in modern day to bringing a digital Trojan horse into your home. Yikes. And what's worse is this ad targeting is mostly racially motivated because black people respond differently than white people to certain things and vice versa. But really guys, come on. Anyways, that's about it for this episode of Techno. If you enjoyed it, make sure to go and let me know what you think about these things in the comments and subscribe for more tech news. And we'll see you guys in a couple days for the next episode.